Okay, all I want to do is demonstrate where you're going to touch your horse this time. Now, obviously, you all had something to do with 4BP up to this point. And um, if you participated in the social uh, experiment I ran, I said for you with the peaches, just to take the horse, and I was asking you to nod the horse's head. And all I was doing there was just gauging to see what type of results we're getting. So now what we're going to do, we're going to step it up and show you exactly where to, where to put your hands. Now he's pretty anxious because we're taking him off the feed and we've got a film crew here and so he's a little bit, bit anxious. What I'm going to show you, now see this flabby bit? Just turn your head please sir, thank you. It's the piece that runs along where your teeth uh, gnash together and there's a protective piece of uh, flesh that runs down the outside. So we're going to utilise that. Now apparently there's nothing in it, don't worry about it. You're doing this and just, just follow. Your finger, like your fingers go in your pocket. See the groove there? Your thumb goes there. And your fingers don't go on the, on, onto that bone. And they can't go up onto the cheek. So you've got the fat cheek, comes down underneath there. We're really only utilising the two fingers. So the two fingers, but we're going to use our whole hand. So you can put it like that and then just rotate your hand down. That's what we're going to be looking for. Now I want you to use a trained horse, or a quiet horse. It doesn't have to be a riding horse. This is solely about mental health and getting it flush and doing everything else. I want you to uh, keep uh, track of his eyes. His eyes will go all dopey. He will get a, a pinch uh, that will come up in his eye there like that. All sorts of things. I'll talk you through it as you go. But I want you to get your, your trained horse and you're going to use two hands. Now, there's other videos on how to get to this stage, so don't worry about that. Go find them. This is what we want you to do. Put your hand there and your hand there, identical, on each side. I want you to slightly bend your knees and I want you to look into his eyes and you want to press in one, two, three. Hold for one and a half and one, two, three, release. And then just stand back for 20 seconds and let him have that. Now what we're doing is we're putting him into a full um, flush. See, his eyes are going weird already. It has to be three. Now, if you can't get three to start with, this horse is used to doing this, just press in. But it has to be whatever, if you press in for one second, you have to hold down for half a second. And you're pressing in very firm, real firm, as firm as you can. And then slam and, and the release. And the release is just as important as the pressing in. Okay? So you'll do this three times. Everything's in three. So you go one, two, three, hold in, one and a half seconds, one, two, three, and release. Now he's looking pretty calm, hey? Now flick your fingers. Watch this. Four fingers under your thumb and flick them. And if you don't know how hard you have to flick them, dip them in Vegemite and try and flick them off. If you can't find Vegemite, go out in the front lawn, find a dog that's been there, dip your fingers in the dogs and then give it a flick. That's how sticky it is. Flick it at the ground. That's getting rid of the energy that's coming out of the horse. If you don't, you're gonna get a headache and it's gonna cut from earlobe to earlobe, slightly up to a point and it's going to follow your skull and it'll feel like a crack in your skull or you'll get a burn across just below your belt line from here to here. If that happens, take a deep breath and breathe it out. And when you breathe it out, I'll show you, I'll get a bit of dirt. This is the effect that you want. Okay, so as you breathe out, concentrate on that crack and that headache and that's what the effect. As you breathe out, you'll just see it all dissipate. And that's just energy stuck there. Look at him now, he's starting to look like a bit of a stone statue. Okay, next stage is you're gonna press in and then bring that down his face. Okay, and then turn sideways there, down underneath and pluck it off his nose. Flick your fingers real hard. Now, just in here, just there's a little lump just there. It's a little, I call it the French moustache. 
it's a cartilage that gives that nostril its shape. What you want to do is you're pulling the energy down there like that, and then you're turning, and you're going under the French moustache, parallel with that mouth opening. You're pulling that down to there, and it's very, no, no, come here, buddy. It's very important that you actually get a good pluck off the nose. That's like lancing a boil. So you're taking the energy down the face. And what happens if you don't pluck off the end of the nose, you're going to find that the end of the face of the horse is going to become really hypersensitive and they're not going to want you to touch it at all. So you, even if you have to hold one side and do that and do that and then trick him into it and then pluck it off. But once you do that the first time, you should be right. Now, how many times you do that? Three times. And now you can do this. You give his head a little nod. And as you do that, you're just raking down his face, the same thing. Keep your knees bent and pluck off the end of his nose. Give a good hard flick. Now, if there's any energy or anything wrong, what you're doing is you're actually bringing that down and plucking it off. Now, you just let him stand there and soak that up. Still lots going on around you, isn't that old mate? Come here. That's it. We're not training the horse. It's nothing to do with the horse. It's all about you. So you've got the heater in the hallway. You walk past it all the time. But it doesn't throw any heat out till you reach out and press the button, yeah? So what we've just done is we've just pressed the button on this horse. Now this horse is radiating really big time and he's punching out. So he's emitting heat. Get your finger here now, place one hand underneath his chin so that it comes down to the big knob there on the end of there. So you slide your hand down until you run into the bottom of that, that chin. <coughs> Use this hand just there like that, thumb and point of finger. And just put your point of finger right up underneath there and just pinch at the front because there's a gland just here. And you just do that and then do this side. Now what I want you to do is while you're doing this, and always bring it all the way down through off the front of his face, always. Don't want uh, to, if you, if you massage his teeth, cheeks too much, you'll end up with a big golf ball of energy here, and it's hard to break that up. So you wanna just get that, see, watch this, your thumb running along that cheekbone. So you just press up, and those fingers just like a rake, just coming around. That's it, old mate. And they like that. Just bring it down and pluck it off the end of his nose. Let him relax. Now all of that beautiful energy is coming in. So he's having his whole body's having a reset now. All his organs, his stomach, his liver, his heart, his spleen, everything is all having a reset. Dopamine, endorphins, all coming straight into me. So now what I want you to do is just simply stand next to your horse. Your hand has to be flat like that on the other side of his neck. And this hand goes right on the top of the wither, right there. And all that hand does is just massages his wither. Place your feet right here, one on the outside of his foot and one just inside of his foot. The safety zone on a horse is one foot out in each direction of that front foot. So if you're, and you don't want to be out here, okay? You can't make out over a coffee table. You can make out on a coffee table, but not over it. So get in right on skin on skin. So your flat hand on that side of his neck and just rock him. That's all. And I want you just to massage that. That's by on top of his wither. Hand flat on the other side of the neck. Pull him in tight and rock. Now while you're rocking him, what I want you to do yeah, he took that big sigh, same as me. You're Bluetoothing your horse here at the moment. So while you're doing that, and take a deep breath, and when you do, you'll feel the arch of your foot come up. That's how deep you're gonna suck the air in. And then when you breathe out, you're gonna feel that from the arch of your feet all the way out. Everything, I want you to pull everything you got from your feet up and out your mouth. <coughs> and when you do that, you're going to do five deep breaths. When you breathe in the first time and you feel those arch come up, 
just imagine his heart in his chest beating. And as you breathe out, picture your heart beating. Next breath, same thing. Now about the third or fourth breath, I want you to see both of those hearts beating at the same time. What you're doing is you're synchronizing your heartbeats. And now your hearts are gonna be beating at the same beat. So while you're there, you're massaging this spot here on the wither. You got your flat hand, you got your eyes closed, you can rest your head down here, you can do whatever you like, and you're just gently rocking your horse. Don't be aggressive, just gently rocking them. And you'll feel and you'll start to breathe the same. You'll both start to sigh. And then just run your hand down their back. You just push him around a little. Come here, buddy. You're a big horse. Move, you big lazy fella. There you go. Why don't you just uh, use that bit there after, say, about five minutes. And just start pressing that down there like that. Don't press too hard on his neck because it'll drive him back. Just pressing there like that. And when you get to the end, do a rake around with your hand and then do this again. So note my, hand, my foot's still just behind his hoof. So you're pushing back quite firmly and then you're raking and coming back. Now the thing is, your heart's beating in the same sync with the horse. The horse will be fully relaxed. You see he's got his eyes are all gone dopey. Um, what you'll notice is snot will start to run out of his nostrils. He's got some on that one, not so much this one. Someone will just weep when you start first doing it. And then just spend some time. Another one I want you to do is see where my hand is. I get it underneath the fat of that cheek, the cheek there, and just pluck up at that and rub down at the nose. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, you like this one. And just with your, your hip, see, just pushing him back and forwards. And if you can, just kiss him right on the eyelid. Now, there's hardly anyone that you can kiss on. Oh, look at how his eye went. There's hardly anyone that you can kiss on the eyelid that doesn't say, I love you. Okay? So you want to just pluck, see here, the other hand's just picking that up and just going down. And his head will come around. And then you've got to go fill out your report card. So all of the report card that you've got, uh, it'll say all your emotions, what you went through, what you felt. Uh, I want you to be feeling for anything that's happening with you. You might get like a punching, like a little jab right here at the sternum. Uh, you could uh, have your tongue will go numb. Uh, it'll go tin. You might get a uh, burning sensation in your hands. Um, I get runny nose, the same as the horse. So whatever the horse is getting, I generally get, you'll get a full flush. This is what we want to know. We want to know what you were experiencing and what you can't do with the horse that I just showed you. Okay, if you can't, well then contact me and we'll fix it up. Have some fun.